Adam Trigger here, wagertalk.com, here to talk the Rocky Mountain Showdown. First time since 2019 we're getting the rivalry between Colorado and Colorado State, and it's probably the biggest one in the history of this rivalry, with all the big networks headed to Boulder to see Dion's Buffs play on Saturday night in the Degenerate Special Time slot, 10.30 Eastern, um, 7.30 Pacific. In the meantime, please give us a like and subscribe so we can continue bringing you these free plays all year long. And in this case, this is probably going to be a client play for me. I'm looking at Colorado State with the points. And, you know, the only reason I haven't locked this in yet is because I'm interested to see what the, the betting does as far as the market is concerned. So you had a line open, I think maybe 18 or 19 at, at some places, shoot up to 22, 23. We're sitting 22 and a half right now. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see how this one is bet. Is the sharp market going to come in and, and take, you know, make a numbers play on Colorado State like they did with Nebraska last week? Um, that That's yet to be seen. I don't know if Colorado State is going to inspire the same confidence that seemingly every sharp better had with Nebraska uh, taking the points with them only to get blown out, um, which is what Colorado State did in that game. Now, I'm going to be on Colorado State here. And the reason for a couple of reasons. One, I was high on Colorado State over the summer. Um, their season win total over took some respected money. And if you go back to the first week of the season, Colorado State went off an eight and a half point underdog against Washington State. That game opened 16 some places over the summer, bet down to 14, bet again at 14, hit all the way down to eight and a half on game day, only for Colorado State to get completely blown out 50 to 24. Now, that they were blown out by Washington State, a team that just went and beat Wisconsin comfortably. So, you know, Colorado State, maybe they were bad, but also maybe Washington State's just better than we all thought um, because, of course, they knock off rank Wisconsin and now they're 2-0. and up. I think it's maybe a little bit of both. I'm still pretty high on this Colorado State team. I'm not going to let one bad performance against, uh, against Was uh, Washington State put me off the fact that I think Colorado State has a better team than they did last year. Uh, this was a very young football team last year with a first-year coach in Jay Norvell. And remember, Norvell inherited next to nothing when he showed up. And what he inherited was Steve Adazio's, you know, holdovers. Uh, that was a very run-heavy team, whereas Norvell likes to run the air raid kind of like, you know, pass-first offense. So it was always going to take at least a year to sort of get some of his stuff in place. He brought Clay Millen with him. Um you know, big time recruit was supposed to go to Nevada and he brings him to Colorado state. He was one of the most accurate passers in the mountain West last year. So I do think that, that this Colorado state team can take a step forward from that respect. And remember, we only need to cover the number here. There's a good chance Colorado state is playing from behind in this game. And if they're playing from behind, they're going to have to throw it and throwing it looks to be what this offense is going to be more proficient at this year. On the defensive side of the ball, Colorado State has a lot of returning players, and this defense should profile as a defense that, that should be pretty good at the Mountain West level. Now, they gave up 50 to Washington State, but remember, Washington State, again, maybe they're better than we all thought, and B, a lot of those points were in the fourth quarter. The game had already gotten out of hand, and, and Washington State just kind of went up and down the field, added, I believe, another 21 points to their score. I think... Colorado State is a lot better than they're getting credit for. There is no question Colorado is good. I, I can't, I'm, I'm not here to dispute that one bit. But what, what's very important here is we now have Colorado going from being the hunter, like they were in the first couple of weeks, big underdog against TCU, uh, favorite that everyone wanted to bet against, a lot of the sharp people wanted to bet against last week. Now they're going to the big favorite that's going to have to win and cover a big number. It's really tough to switch roles going from the hunter to the hunted. I don't know that Colorado State, now with the expectations that they should come out and win by three or four scores, are going to come out and win by three or four scores. It's a big rivalry. This is a very important game for Colorado State as well. I think the Rams show some fight here, and I think the Rams keep it within the number. Uh, so I like Colorado State, and if you like these videos, click on the other videos on the screen. Uh, and also, Adam99 coupon code is good all week at Wager Talk. Um, discount on the 30 day for football. 
Um, so, so check that out on my page at wagertalk.com, uh, wt.buzz slash at. And uh, again, I like the Rams plus 22 and a half in this game.